Good evening, yeah. my esteemed colleagues. Myself, C. A. Shantam Agrawal, practicing in Chandrapur, Maharashtra. I am honored to be here today to discuss a use case of AI in Excel, something that I believe can greatly benefit us. In our day-to-day -day work, we often find ourselves dealing with complex data sets that can be difficult to analyze manually. However, with the use of AI, we now have powerful tools that can automate many of our tasks before we perform. Today, I'm like to share. I would like to share with you a specific example of how we can leverage the power of AI with the help of ChatGPT to create a custom formula in Excel using VBA. You might have used ChatGPT to create a formula to be used in Excel, which is already there in Excel. For example, if you want a sum of all the sales happen on Sunday, then the ChatGPT will provide you the formula, if formula, which was already there in existing Excel. But what if I tell you that you can create your own formula, which is not exist in Excel, shocked, right? So imagine a scenario where you have a bank statement where majority of the transactions are made through UPI from a phone number. And each line item contains various data like UPI number, phone number, UPI transaction number, phone number, and another unnecessary details. Now, if we need to quickly identify the phone numbers associated with these UPI transactions to identify with whom most of the transactions are made during the financial year, manually extracting through each line item would be a tedious and time consuming process. But with the help of ChatGPT, we can automate this task and save our valuable time. Now, let's demonstrate this use case with an example. Shantam, your PPT is not moving. Yes, yes, I'm shifting, sir. Are you able to see my Excel sheet? Yes. Okay. So this is a, a bank statement uh, extracted in Excel. So there are uh, transactions which have mostly in UPI. So if I want to see whether, so you can see uh, the transactions number here and the phone numbers here. And in some of the line items, there are no phone numbers, just a transactions number and some other details, not a phone number. So if you want to get only the phone numbers, we can use a custom formula, which is not there in Excel. So what I can do is go to a, a chat GPT. Sorry. I'm using cognitive mode. Chat GPT. So again, due to a uh, time constraint, I have written the prompt. So you, uh, uh, prompt is written here. Okay. We'll discuss the prompt. So I have written here. I want a custom Excel formula named get phone. So here you can see in Excel, we don't have any formula of get phone. We have get pivot data and get D get, but chat GPT will create a formula for us. This formula will simply give the output as the 10 digit phone number from the cell with the U, uh, which will be selected by the user. I will explain the requirements below. The syntax of the get phone formula will be the following is equal to get phone under uh, bracket cell, where the cell will be selected by the user. For example, if the user selected A1 as the cell, where A1 is having text as this. So I have taken this first line item as an example. Okay. So then formula will look, look for 10 digit number in that cell and give the final output as this mobile number only. Okay. If this is clear to you, generate a customer uh, custom formula for Microsoft Excel for me. So I'm Like this, uh, ChatGPT is generating a customized uh, uh, formula. Here, uh, it is mentioned that press Alt plus F11 to open the Visual Basic, where we have to paste this code. So we'll copy the code and do the Alt F11 in the Excel and go to the Insert module and then paste this code. So I'll come to the Excel, then I'll go to Alt F11, then screen will appear. Then I'll go to insert, insert module, and then paste that code into here and close this. Now, if you can see, 
I'm getting the, this get for new uh, customized formula. So I'm selecting this first cell. Now, this we can copy on all the uh, uh, bank statement we have. Now, <clears throat> this uh, mobile phone may be repeated because uh, uh, in during the whole year, many transactions uh, could be made from one account number. So if we want to see whether uh, which account, uh, which phone number has the uh, most uh, transacted uh, in the financial year. So we can use this unique formula where, where we can select the, all the uh, range and then it will show us on the unique formula. This is 40. So in the trans bank banking transaction, there are 377, but unique is only 40, 42. Okay. Now we can check the count of uh, this phone number for which uh, it has repeated in the during, uh, during the financial year. So count if range will be this. Now criteria will be this. And this phone number has repeated only once in the financial year. Now <clears throat> we can sort this data from descending order for uh, count of line items. So I'm here again, in, uh, again uh, putting a formula of short array will be this phone number and its count and short index. It will be two because I wanted to uh, short the data by column number two. That is the count. Then I want ascending or descending. Then minus one is for descending. So I'll choose minus one and okay. So for blank, we can see. Okay. Uh, I think, uh, some mistake happened here. Okay, no problem. So <clears throat> here we can see that this phone number has uh, transaction 68 uh, number of tra uh, times transaction is during the financial year. This way we can see uh, and extract the phone numbers from the uh, UPI transactions and then summarize whether uh, which uh, phone numbers are repeated uh, many times. So this was the uh, uh, custom formula generated by chat GPT. We have another uh, yeah. custom formula also. So <clears throat> like we don't have uh, in Excel, the total of uh, odd and even numbers. So, Last two so this is the data where the even and odd numbers are there. If we want to calculate the only even or only odd numbers, we can ask ChatGPT to create a custom formula for us. For this also, I've created a prompt, which can, which I'm sharing with you. Now I'll take a new chat. Paste this prompt here. And ChatGPT. Prepare the code for us. We will simply go to F11, insert module, copy, close, close. Now, I have given the formula name is total odd. You can see now if I select this whole range, it can only total the odd numbers. So recheck it. Uh, this plus this plus this plus plus this plus this so 294 here 294 some manually and the uh, excel custom excel formula also giving the total as 294 so with this we can uh, create uh, many custom formulas which can be useful for us thank you